The SmackDown Tag Team Championship match has to be taking place in a Hell in the Cell to, to sort of build up the battle of the Usos versus the New Day. Um, these guys honestly have been battling back and forth for the last few months. And uh, the New Day and the Usos is a feud that spans over the SmackDown as well as over the Raw brand um, dating back a few years here. Um, I think that this, this match has happened in just about every uh, fashion possible, whether it's been a rap battle on SmackDown, held as a part of the uh, ladders match on the TLC show. Um, I believe the Usos were involved with the New Day in that Elimination Chamber match um, a few years ago. That was the, one of the first um, house shows that got turned into a network special. Um, this, this is going to be a very fun match. Um, this will be, you know, the first tag team championship match, but it will not be the first uh, tag team match to happen inside of Hell in a Cell. I'm guessing this is going to be held under, um, I guess you would call it Texas Tornado Tag Rules, um, where all four men will be in the, the match um, going at it at, the, at, at one piece. The only way they could screw this up is that I think if they would have found a way to give the New Day um, the advantage. Um, although there are no rules in the Hell in the Cell, and uh, you know we've seen uh, from Hell in the Cell matches in the past that they've come up with thousands of different ways to, to get out of the cell in order to you know fight uh, you know uh, in the aisle or you know climb the cage and fight on top. Um, if they are going to give the New Day the advantage of three on two, even though they are baby faces, I'm hoping that they find a way to to really play up um, how they do it. I don't want to see just one of the members of the New Day, whether if it's Xavier Woods, um, just sort of open the cage door, walk in, and have the advantage. If it means um, the Usos have to, you know, throw one of the members of the New Day through um, the actual fencing of the Hell in a Cell, um, and then once uh, they're on the outside, they do the little switcheroo um, like they've done in the past, um, just trading out a fresh man for somebody who's beaten down. Um, that, that would be something, but I, I just don't want to see them have three-on-two advantage like they did in the Elimination Chamber a few years ago. After the New Day helped out the Authority, um, the Authority gave um, the, the New Day the heads up that they were going to have all three members inside of their pod at the Elimination Chamber and would not have to use the Freebirds rule of having to pick which two members would be involved in the match. Um, we've seen the Usos as well as the New Day um, in just about every type of match possible, and they've knocked it out of the park. I'm really looking forward to this one. In my mind, I'm rooting for the Usos, and I'm hoping that they're going to be taking those tag titles and walking all the way out of the uh, Hell in a Cell structure, the new tag team champions.